It's Friday, May 24th, and when it's Friday, you know what that means. Yes, Furiosa, a Mad Max tale, is out in theaters today. But also, time for Thomas Forever. Welcome back to Comics Forever, the weekly show where I tell you about all the comics that we love that you should be reading. As you can tell, I am very hyped for the new Mad Max movie, Furiosa, starring my girl and personal friend of the store, Anya Taylor-Joy. And because of that, I've got some post-apocalyptic comics for you to check out in the post-apocalyptic theme. First up, we've got Apocalyptic Girl by Andrew McLean. Uh, this is the story of Arya and her adorable cat, Jelly Beans, as they survive in the post-apocalyptic overgrown cities of uh, the future. Uh, she's on a quest for a relic of immeasurable power, and this is uh, the story of her journey along the way. The art rules. You probably know Andrew McLean from Headlopper and more recently some really awesome uh, Godzilla comics, but this is uh, where it all began, and it rules, and you can get it in this handy-dandy deluxe hardcover edition that is beautiful. So check out Apocalyptic Girl. And when I say post-apocalypse meets comic books, the first thing that should come to mind should be Wolverine, Old Man Logan. This one is by Mark Millar and Steve McNiven. It's a classic for a reason. It rules. Uh, most of you are probably at least familiar with this book from the movie Logan that came out a few years ago, probably a very long time ago, I don't want to think about it. But uh, that movie is great, and it takes some themes from Old Man Logan, but man, did it leave out some of the wilder aspects, including uh, blind Hawkeye and um, roving gangs of evil mutated hulks. It's awesome. Uh, it's a quintessential uh, graphic novel to get if you are a Marvel fan, a Wolverine fan, or just a fan of uh, crazy post-apocalyptic comics. So, if you haven't already, get Wolverine Old Man Logan. And if you have, just read it again, because it rules. That is it for this week's Comics Forever. Thank you for joining me. If you need more recommendations in the meantime, make sure you check out my podcast, Tales from the Short Box. And until then, I will see you at the movies, Comics Forever.